All right. Yeah, and they're not. This very is her good. area, so this is the music for her area. Oh, and nice. I love that this part is that's that's oh, yeah. the room we were just in. That's cool. So she could just pop in to say hello because there there's consistency because you know it's laid out a certain way. But they they just threw that in there just so you could feel the size of it all and feel how it's connected. And I, I love that touch. The rest of it, but like for the most part, it's just chaotic. Yeah. And but and it is, but it's not because you have to be able to like get through it. And so there's ways to get past every every single thing. And so it looks like chaos. It looks like somebody just like you know just started clicking tiles everywhere and throwing monsters haphazardly. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> which part of me wants to believe that that's what actually happened. But there's, you know, they, they had to put this block here to make sure that I could get up to the end. Also, this controller's kind of weird, so I feel like if I was on the actual NES controller... Alright. I'd, I'd be doing I'd, better. It'd be doing a little bit better. Because there, there are some parts like this where it's like, kind of, you gotta make the jump a certain way. Oh, this just goes straight up. There's another lion there. I'm gonna I try do, to fight him. I do like the music. The music is amazing, right? Oh, now see this. Now that's a door. Okay. That you can use a key for. Which makes me think I'm going the right way. Yeah, you're definitely going some way. Although I'm, I'm really afraid, though, that I that this is not the way to get the... Is it called the Matic? Yeah. If this is not the way to get the Matic, and I'm going to get stuck because I don't have it. Yeah. I am afraid that that's going to happen. Um, and then, yeah, there it is. Yeah, you're going to need it <laughs> to get through there. There's some uh, cat people. Okay, yeah, because that's the that's the area of the cat people. So I was also thinking about something because um, in the background here you can very clearly see a castle. Mm -hmm. there, that's true. Take care of that. Do you think that this is the like the castle that we see on the the opening screen? Um, not the opening screen, but you, you know. What I'm yeah, the about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, it's possible. Like it's kind of a. Or, but it also, it just looks like this is an underground city. Yeah. Because there's walls there, there's walls that look like they're a little bit further behind. There's another door. Yeah. Oh, I'm just no. falling. I'm... I mean, I'm... Go in that shop. Get a magic wand. Uh, I don't think I need that. Get get a dead animal. What is that? <laughs> no, the other thing? Yeah. Uh, oh, I think it's like a punching glove. Oh. You don't need that? Um, I don't think... I'm not sure if... Lil can use it, so I'm not gonna get it. But... All right. Ah. So what was game... I saying? I don't know what you were saying, but this nah, game. I was saying important. Something important. I don't care. This game <laughs> is is a uh, described as an open world type of like you know open world RPG yeah. style. Yeah. And I guess so. I mean, yes. But it's kind of <laughs> open world in the sense that there's just a lot of space. Uh, just like a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, not, and not necessarily in options. <laughs> right? Is that, is that what you mean? I mean, I no, guess I'm so. Really, I'm really... I'm like... I'm trying to get back, but I'm just getting more, like, more lost. Which is something I love about this. Back I mean, obviously, like I... Oh. And look, there's like, where, that thing like, again. What? It's all connected. Like, why am I... Like, how am I here? <laughs> that's the kind of experience that you have with this game, and that's that's what I cherish. But, you know, I will admit, as an adult, a game that is telling me exactly where to go and what to do, and that it's it's unlikely to get lost at. You know, when I'm playing Skyrim, and I'm like, oh, I could... Skyrim's huge, I could wander around and get lost, and maybe get... Nothing will happen. Mm -hmm. But it's very unlikely that you're going to wander around in Skyrim for a while and... Not, and nothing will happen yeah so I, I will admit that that's like that's just a feature or a standard of gameplay that exists now because we are busier we don't have time for this but when I was a kid I had all the time in the world because I didn't know that what life was gonna be like <laughs> and I thought my life was just gonna be sitting around for like endless days without with just just playing video games and not feeling guilty about it because I wouldn't be sitting there thinking, oh, there's books I gotta read, or oh, I gotta go write a blog. Like, oh, I'm not reading enough, or, you know, whatever else is happening. Like, there's way more important things in my life than just reading books, but that's what I chose to focus on. But, 
But I, I just don't have that kind of time anymore, so a game like this is going to be more challenging. Yeah. Not just challenging, but like, who has time for this? I, I admit that. I said that. <laughs> um, but... There you are again. You know, it's just it's just cool that somebody made something like this. So I, I feel like this is... I feel like this is one of those text adventures. Where you're like, <laughs> well, you can go left, right, up, or down. All right, I'll try going up. You're in a room. Is there anything in this room? Maybe. <laughs> can I get this thing? Can you... Oh, how do I get back? How do I get out? Why can I not get ye flask? <laughs> That's what I feel like playing this game. <laughs> uh, but why? <laughs> because it's just... You just go into rooms and you're like, is this, is this where I'm supposed to go? I don't know. And then you give up and then you go back and you think, oh, maybe that was where I was supposed to go. I don't, I don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> I think I'm actually stuck. And then there's just monsters killing you all the time. Yeah, the monsters just... I love that the monsters just kind of bounce around. <laughs> oh, I'm out of magic. Ugh, I'm boned. But there's... I just... You know... It's like mystery. It's like a mystery to me. What? What? You died. Oh. Can't believe that killed me. I, I, fi I figured out how to get back anyway. Oh, yeah, you did it. All right, this time I'm gonna this time I'm gonna retry and see what the difference is. It's gonna start you all the way at the beginning. Oh, all the way at the beginning, huh? Yeah, you have to start over. Well, I can't have that. There's nothing to be done. You chose retry. I wish I knew. Now it makes sense. Continue and retry. Retry yeah, is like yeah. start over. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Come on, Pochi. Let's go get this thing. All right, we are starting completely over. A Legacy of the Wizard. Oh, who man. else? Who else is gonna do that? <laughs> Only on Game for Brains. <laughs> uh, I guess we can stop it there. And, yeah. then I could, and then I could just play it, and then we could just like pick it up with another one. Yeah. I feel like that was mostly garbage, though. We could just do like a montage <laughs> of uh, Kirby Pochi going back. <laughs> <laughs> to get the glove. I seriously, I want to write, like, a book. What kind of book? About Legacy of the Wizard. <laughs> Legacy of the Wizard is the secret to time travel. Ah! <laughs> Double poisoned. Of course. It was all right here, in this map of Legacy of the Wizard. <laughs> Where are all the other dragon slayers? What do you mean? This is the fourth one? Oh, the other games? Yeah. Yeah, I guess they're, uh... There are other ones, and they're like this. I think I've seen some screenshots, but they're like not as not even as good looking as this one. And I think this one is very ugly. So <laughs> I just I think this is this game is like the epitome of NES beauty. Like it's it's the platonic form, the, plat the platonic ideal of NES NES aesthetics. Not necessarily of an NES game. That's what it is. It's just all of the aesthetics mashed into one hideous uh, interactive thing. Oh, see, here's a place I didn't go earlier that I was supposed to go to to get this. Oh, wait, what did you get? I got something. You got something? I got another magic thing. What does it do? I don't know. See, in some games, you would get something like a raft, and you would know what rafts do. <laughs> well, it looks like a, some sort of bowling ball. <laughs> okay. Check this guy out. Look at him. Look at him. He's got his <laughs> job. He, he knows exactly what he's doing. <laughs> oh, wait. He's got a he's got a twinner over here. I got this, so it does something. Oh, I know what it does. What does it do? It takes you back to the beginning of the dungeon. Okay. I guess that makes sense. I'm going to chop some wood, going to cut some wood over here by the castle. Oh yeah, oh what's this a ladder? Okay, you, you want to hear what Curse you the designer hearts. of this game had to say about it? Yes. Alright, he, he said... 
uh, I didn't really have a clear objective in mind as I created it. Well, I at least knew that you'd retrieve the four crowns and defeat the dragon, but more than just accomplishing the, those goals, I wanted players to experience a new style of gameplay. Uh -huh. In the end, I guess the game left a somewhat confusing impression on players. Personally, I think there's a whole lot of things to enjoy about it, like yeah. finding and fighting all the different monsters, or luring them out so you can get past them. Ah, no, no one ever does that. <laughs> that's like not... <laughs> He says, that, is, that is not a way to play this game. <laughs> he says, that's the kind of game it was, but it turned out to be a mess after all. Oh, I got myself stuck. Well, okay, a mess. He says, people didn't like it, and he thinks that you have to have clear goals for the player, a boss to fight at the end, and a mo moving ending. Said, uh, yeah, see, but at the time, they didn't know that. <laughs> like, everybody knows that now, so every game is the same. And that's exactly yeah. what I'm saying, is that this game c came at a time when people could actually experiment, um, and this was this just seems like a very experimental work, and... Yeah, I'll say that. Like, like, yeah, no clear objective in mind, of course. Like, that's the whole, that's, like, that's why it's so wonderful, because it's just chaotic. And infuriating. Game for Brains. This is just too many ladders. Uh, yeah, this is this is shoots and ladders, <laughs> scorpions and ladders. <laughs>